and on and on. Hi, this is John Park for Make Magazine and The Maker Shed. Today I'm going to take a look at experiment number eight in the Make Electronics book and I'm going to use the Make Electronics component pack number one to do the experiment. First let's take a look inside the electronics pack. When you open it up using these two uh, larger latches on the side you can get at the main section of the kit and in here you'll find a couple of things that we're going to need. One is the AC adapter. It's going to go AC to DC and we're going to use a 12 volt setting on this and I'll show you how to set that up a little more in a second. I'm also going to get out the breadboard. Now this breadboard has some terminals on it that you can screw in place and then use these terminals to connect the power to a couple of jumper wires to put into the positive and negative rails on the breadboard. We're also going to grab some wire. We'll use the black and red wire to create some little solid core hookups between the power connector and those terminals as well as the terminals to the breadboard. While we're in the main section of this pack we're going to grab one uh, black alligator clip. It's the little black rubber insulated alligator clip that we'll use to make our connection between the AC-DC adapter and one of the terminals on the breadboard. Okay next we'll flip the lid back up to close it and let me latch those sides. This section opens up here to reveal loads more components. From the big tray of components in the top of the lid, I'm going to grab the relay that we're going to use, a couple of LEDs. I'm going to go with these big red ones. I'm going to need a 680 ohm resistor, and you can check the color chart on that. That's a blue, gray, brown. Uh, or you can check that with a multimeter if you're not sure if you have the right one. A 1000 microfarad capacitor, that's the big daddy one that's in the top lid there. And I also need a micro switch, which I can use this little red one here. Alright, that's all the components that I'm going to need from the pack, so let me close this up and not squash my resistors. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is preparing to use this breadboard with the power adapter. You can either chop off all of these little adapters on the end here, strip your wire and use that, or if you think you might want to use these uh, little barrel adapters to plug into different devices sometime, uh, I've come up with a way to use these non-destructively. And what you'll do is cut a little piece of your solid core wire piece of red and black about two or three inches long. Strip the ends and then we're going to fold over one stripped end on the red one and insert it into one of these adapter plugs so that it touches the interior pretty snugly. There's one of these on here that I found works really well. Uh, and then for the other one, this is where our alligator clip comes into play. If you pull back that uh, insulation you can attach one of these wires and crimp it down or you could even solder it in there if you wanted a better connection and then use that to clip around any of the exterior parts. Uh, the ring part of these is going to be negative if we configure it that way on the adapter and the tip or interior part is going to be positive. Then we can take this, unscrew a couple of our terminal blocks here, or terminal screws, and plug the other ends of those wires in and screw those down. Now I've already attached a small length of stripped wire that plugs into the negative rail on that black plug on the board and same for the positive. I can take this little wire, set it inside the red screw and screw that down. Okay, my clip came off. That's one hazard of this. Let me put that back on. Okay, now we're wired and ready to go. We're going to have 12 volts on the board when we plug that in and select the proper settings. So here I've got the schematic and this is the freeform version of the circuit that we're going to do. Or if you want to cheat and jump ahead, here is what it looks like laid out on the breadboard. So that's the circuit I'm going to put together now. 
So what this uh, circuit does is it uses the relay to open and close itself as the coil gets energized. Uh, and instead of oscillating back super fast, the capacitor gives it a bit of a pause in there uh, based on the time it takes to discharge that capacitor. As that uh, turns on and off, you'll see the LEDs blink. And there it goes. So if you want to try other exercises like this, check out the Make Electronics book and the Make Electronics component pack in the Maker Shed. Thanks a lot.